Hello guys, I'm here today to present a new project that I'm working on. Uh, it's this time it's related to service mesh using Istio. So basically, this uh, it's a bootstrap project for your next uh, service mesh uh, architecture. Uh, here you are going to be addressing many um, uh, challenges that the uh, distributed system brings. So for example, you're going to be uh, seeing how to deal with load balance, circuit breaker, uh, secured connections. Uh, service discovery, traffic management, external call mon monitoring. So basically, you're going to be uh, bringing to our mesh uh, external calls as well and be able to monitor those calls. Uh, GRPC load balancing, custom uh, logging, authentication, uh, fault, uh, fault injection, tra uh, traceability, observability. You're going to be looking at some uh, tools that will help us with these two items. That will be Grafana, Kiali, and Jagger. And here, you, know, you have uh, everything that you need to uh, start with this project and along with this video be able to run a full uh, service mesh so basically we are using here um, a project, project example that it's a simple one and that it's just uh, um, showing basically tracking some um, truckers on in the cities um, here we are more interested in the back end so uh, here you can see everything that is behind that application um, we can see that you have a, a ingress gateway that it's it's coming to a, a flat map uh, flatman web app um, service and behind this service there is two uh, version of our application and then go all the way down here you can see that I have introduced some uh, bugs as well that it's showing this red uh, narrow is because those uh, requests is failing uh, here on the bottom we can see that it's calling uh, h10 or service uh, if you look at the the legend here you can see that um, that format it's a service entry so basically there is a call to our external service so we're going to be looking at this in more detail in the next uh, in the next video um what else so here we give you the full picture of your mesh we also have here some um, uh, services related to grpc where you're going to be applying the load balancing um uh, what else you're going to be looking at uh, the grafana to um aggregate all all metrics that we we have on our on our application um, we also are gonna be looking at the uh, jagger where we can tra uh, track all um, requests that is passing to our our service so for example if I pick here uh, let's say staff service you're gonna be bringing all those requests that have been passed uh, on that uh, specific service so there is others a way to filter here we are just looking at here for example we can see the time that was expanding the whole uh, request and uh, we we with this project we will be able to uh, professionally and monitoring and manage our our microservices and uh, in our using Istio and few others um, few other tools uh, this project is based on another um, Project that I have that it's specifically uh, setting up uh, Istio to use uh, to work with Minikube because Minikube is quite um, quite expensive and if you use the traditional uh, way of tra of installing Istio you're going to be uh, not be optimized to use locally so the default the way of installing uh, Istio will be to uh, to be using the production uh, details so for example here you have set up many things uh, that will be optimized to our local version so i really recommend you to have a look at this project and um, if you are playing with minikube uh, but this one here is just a complement and from this uh, values we are generating the the istio configuration that we are using here that will be on this on this folder um i think uh, this uh, a good introduction so we'll be going through uh, every uh, file here and be addressing every every challenge that you have uh, in a in a let's say educative way so step by step and also I would like to show you other projects that I've, I've been working have been quite relevant to the community that's one is related to uh, big data so it's using it's applying lambda architecture with spark kafka and cassandra so basically we have the real time coming data here and we have been applying some processing uh, on the real time and in the meantime we are uh, storing on a hdfs uh, storage and uh, a distributed storage right, file system and performing some uh, batch processing using Spark, where it's compounded by uh, the the master and two two slaves. And we are storing all those things on the in the Cassandra and then consumed by one uh, Spring uh, Boot application, where it's sent into a, a front end to socket. So it's pretty interesting uh, 
project as well and have been uh, used quite uh, quite a lot and it's i recommend you check it out if you are um, play if you are in this field of big data another one it's related uh, to microservice it's a kind of old project where we were working with spring cloud to solve problem that now you are solving with a uh, service mesh using istio but we still have some interesting topics here for example we have this deploy server here where we are deploying the whole architecture that you are seeing here uh, on aws with a uh, single click we also have here some uh, event sourcing and CKRS um, patterns uh, be applied, so you can uh, leverage from this uh, part as well. And you have everything here related to Walt Server, uh, where you are using GWT to authenticate uh, on the system. We we are managing everything here using uh, Docker, Docker Compose, and it's pretty interesting project as well. So I recommend you to check it out if you are playing with microservices uh, using Java. And I think that's all for this video. Next video will be installing our application and, and play with the, uh, the different configuration that you can, you can apply, okay? So see you guys.